Welcome back to the channel, folks. This is Joey with Steel Blade Woodworks, and today I'm going to bring you along while we unbox this Dust Stopper Pro. Some of you may ask, why do I have one of these? Well, as you can see behind me, we're under a renovation or extension of the office, and I had to go get a filter for my rigid shop vac. As you know, these filters are pretty pricey, and I'm just sick and tired of buying these things. So I saw this, the Dust Stopper Pro, and why not pick up Home Depot bucket while we're there, right? And I'm gonna bring y'all along today while we unbox this, put it together, and see exactly what kind of ratings we get with this CFM test meter. Do we need to do this? Probably not, but I think it's gonna be informative. And if you're looking at getting one of these yourself, well, here we go. All right, so let's see what's in the box. We have a package here. Looks like it has a seal, some instructions. We got a couple of 90s. We've got a hose and we have the dust stopper. These are your bucket latches. Just go ahead and unlatch them here. You're going to take this gasket and it's like a half oval. The round portion is going to go down into the lid of the dust stopper and just start pushing it down like so. Take the little piece of wood that they provided you and just help Form it around there. Might want to just stretch it a little bit just so that you meet up at this point here. And once you meet up like this, just simply fold it down in there so it makes a sight seal like so. And just push everything down with this little piece of wood that they provided. That's a pretty simple insulation. Go ahead and get your Home Depot bucket here. Simply place this on top. The rubber gasket seals against the rim of the bucket and Latch your bucket in. And there you go. So real quick before I move on, there is a little indention here. And what that's for is your static wire. I just wanna go ahead and get this on there, put it on the shop vac and get some real quick tests on it. So it is sealed. It's not actually a hole all the way through. You do what you would like to do. I'm gonna choose not to install this right now. All right, with one of the provided 90s, I'm gonna go ahead and just set this on top like so facing back toward my shop vac, then you can just simply plug it in. So the existing hose that came with this rigid shop vac plugs right into their fittings. And then you can just take this and plug it straight into and hook this up to wherever you want. What we're gonna do right now though, is we're gonna take a CFM reading straight into the rigid shop vac. A lot of you may not know or may know on any dust collector, I don't care what it is, once you, introduce something past this hose, your CFM is gonna drop. So we're gonna take a CFM reading on here and let's see if that theory proves right. I don't know what it's gonna do, I haven't done it. But we're gonna take a reading, we're gonna plug it in, and then we're gonna take a reading at the end of this hose, see what it does. Okay, right there, we got about 350 CFM. Now, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in to the separator, and let's see what we get now. So the theory proves right. We dropped about a whole 100 CFM. We went from 350 to 250, 245. So there's a significant drop. Now let's see how good this thing separates dust. All right, let's see how much dust is in here and we'll see how much is in the shop vac. Looks like a lot of that dust came in here. I cleaned this beforehand and I put a new filter on it so there should not be anything in here. Nothing. Little bit of fine dust on there, but that's what you want. You expect that. My final thoughts on this Dust Stopper Pro, it does separate the dust and keep it from going into the shop vac. Very fine particles got in there. There was nothing on the bottom of the shop vac. I think this thing's gonna work good. However, it does drop your CFM. And if you have a long run of hose on the end of this, you're gonna significantly drop the further you get away from. For short little runs, I think it'll work. It'll serve its purpose, but there was a drop of more than 100 CFM by connecting this to the shop vac. If you like this video, please remember to leave a comment and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.